creating subcircuits from SPICE models in dot model format. In TINA, you can also create your own components for any SPICE models given in dot model format that you have made or downloaded from the internet. Some device models are stored in SPICE dot model format. Let's download one from the internet and add the model to TINA. Here is the model of the BC846 NPN bipolar transistor. Let's save this model. In Google Chrome, click the right mouse button. In other browsers, find the Save As command. Select Save As. Save it as a .mod file, as this is the extension that Tina expects. Let's see how to add this model to Tina after starting the program. Click the Tools menu. Select the New Macro Wizard. Enter the name of the model, BC846. Change the settings from Current Circuit to From File. Click the Open icon. Select the Downloads folder where the bc846.mod file is saved. Select the Sir Lib mod filter. Then enter the file name bc846.mod. Click Open. Now click Next. Click the little arrow next to the Save button and select User Macros. Note that in the Tina Macros folder, you can save with administrator rights only. Click Save. Now, in the new Macro Wizard dialog box, the following message appears. The macro file is ready for use. It can be inserted by selecting Insert Macro or by pressing the Insert button below. Now, click the Insert button. The macro will be attached to your cursor and you can place it wherever you wish on the workspace. Double-click the macro and click Enter Macro to see its content. A small schematic design inside the macro appears. Double-click the transistor, then press the three dots button in the type line. Here you can see the detailed description of the model which has been downloaded from the Internet. Let's close the Model Parameters window. Click the Close icon on the toolbar if you wish to close the macro and go back to the schematic editor of Tina. You can also insert the new model using the Insert Macro command. Select Macro from the Insert menu, From the Macro Lib folder, select bc846.tsm and press Open. The new model will appear attached to your cursor, and you can place it anywhere on the workspace. This is how you can add a device model in dot .model format. You can similarly add any SPICE models, diodes, transistors, MOSFETs, etc which are defined by the standard SPICE.model format. You can also add such models to TINA Cloud. Note, it is of course not necessary to add devices with the dot .model definition one by one. You can also add a number of such devices in one step using the library manager of TINA. This process will be demonstrated in a separate video and also described in Chapter 5.3 of the User's Manual of TINA. However, if you need to add just one or two new models, then the procedure outlined in this video might be simpler. For more tutorials, visit our website at www.tina.com slash English slash TINA slash video underscore tutorials. Download the demo version of Tina Design Suite and you will get an immediate 20% discount from the offline version of Tina. 
free license for your second computer, laptop, etc. One year free access to Tina Cloud, the cloud based, multi language, installation free online version of Tina, running in your browser anywhere in the world.